This week, we're going to follow Ben from Ekelon as he visits the Lifon factory. Nathan and Ben are both going to give you some detail about you know, what they're doing, how they're doing it, who they're working with, where they're working. Really appreciate all the feedback. Got some great comments that help us understand you know, what, what you guys are wanting to learn more of and that's going to influence some of the future videos. So thank you, please keep those comments coming. For that enthusiasm and engagement, that's rocket fuel for us. So yep, thanks a heap. I'm at Melbourne Airport, about to fly out. The end destination is a town called Changsha in, in China. And uh, nearby there, there's a town, or city rather, called uh, Zhuzhou, which is where the cell manufacturer that has made the battery cells for the Land Cruiser, that's where they're, they're based uh, with their Gigafactory. So really excited to uh, make the trip out to see these guys, uh, catch up on the latest developments and catch the cells for the first generation Land Cruiser pack uh, that have been recently UN tested, certified, cleared for shipping and about to be uh, shipped out to Perth. So when we go see them on Monday, we'll hopefully catch these cells all boxed up before they get loaded onto the courier and off onto the end destination, which is the Switch workshop uh, in Perth. Hi, I'm Nathan. Echion is partnering with a range of battery cell manufacturers to develop its XNO cells. One of those manufacturing partners is Leafun. This is Jean, Echion's CEO and one of its founders. Lithium ion battery manufacturing is done within a clean room environment with humidity control. So it's very important to ensure that no foreign materials into the manufacturing plant and this is why everyone wears the clean suits and goes through a, a cleaning station. As you're in there there are corridors that keep you isolated from the actual lithium ion battery manufacturing equipment. Unfortunate in this video that we're not able to show you all the details of how Leafun are making the XNO technology cells is proprietary information. It's a very precise process that needs to be extremely automated for the cell manufacturing to be successful. If, if you would like to learn more about lithium ion battery cell manufacturing, we've linked a video down below in the comments. Please check that out. So we're in the, uh, in the leaf on cell packing warehouse and hopefully you can see the boxes of like X and O cells for a little bit of it's actually quite mind-boggling when you see the scale at which lithium-ion batteries are being manufactured, not just XNO, but all batteries. We found 12 cells for the London Concluder. So we got maybe 20 left or 30 left for spares. <laughs> John here. This is his first real mass manufacturing cell run from a technology that he's been working on for over five years. So it's almost like seeing your baby for the first time. Jason, so where are we? Where are we going? At the moment, we are on the way to a test house in China. So we are going to do the test, uh, safety test of our SNO. And the safety test we're doing particularly today, because we've already passed the UN testing, Yeah. but this is a follow-up nail penetration test, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it will be like a more stringent safety test yeah. to validate the safety of our cells, yeah. which can validate that it can be used safely in the extreme uh, situations. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, yeah, we can. Fingers crossed. And also, good future for yeah. the SNO cells. 20 amp hour cell with a very nice top cover. Yeah. <laughs> You're essentially inserting a, a steel pin straight through the cell 
And what this does is the nail goes through each of the electrode layers and it essentially creates an instant short circuit between all of the anodes and cathodes. If this is done on other cells like NMC and some of the more volatile lithium ion chemistries, it gets very spectacular. Excited to uh, to drive the vehicle end of the year? Absolutely, <laughs> but first of all, I think that I need to get a driving license first. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We won't drive it on public road. <laughs> oh, no public road. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'm very excited to yeah to drive a vehicle which is powered by the S O of that we made. Yeah, yeah, using our knowledge, our materials, yeah. and also our expertise. Cool, cool. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jess. Thank you very much. If you find this interesting and you want to follow this journey, then please like and subscribe. There will be plenty more.